You may not have known it, but actually here in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, there is a tourist district known as Tamil. And in Tamil, there's one street which is home to many, 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 many Chinese shops. Literally, I just showed you one. This is another. The Bang Kwai Di. This is, uh, that's a, that's a shipping thing from China. I think they have Sun Feng, which is like another really famous shipping thing. A uh, shipping like, organization from China, shipping uh, like DHL or something like that. And there's tons of Chinese food and stuff here, and that's because there used to be a ton of Chinese tourists. Now with COVID, there's not so many. There are still people who are working here. Um, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> but today, we're gonna go to a restaurant I've been a few times before already. It's a noodle shop. And the people there are Chinese. There is a server there who is Nepali, but he also speaks very good Chinese. We're gonna go speak a little Chinese, show you what that's like here in Nepal. Because I always do this in every single, I mean, look at all this Chinese. I do this in every single country I come to. I have to speak Chinese. It's the skill I have. I have to do it. Let's do it. And here we are. Every country we always have to have lancho lamian. In Pakistan we did. I don't know why it's a it's a pattern. Halal noodles, chingchen halal. Let's go. <laughs> can I choose? Can I choose where to sit? It's a really hard to choose. A uh, very hard decision. Stay there. Adam, I'll make a video for you. Can I? I don't know whether to. Hmm. Maybe we won't speak Chinese because he's Nepali. He knows I speak Nepali because last time I switched. This is like dirty. Okay, clean. Okay. Hang on the. Hang on the. How <coughs> Coca-Cola. Thank you. Uh, Chinese restaurant speaking in Nepali. Am I filming? I am. Sorry about that camera angle. Excuse me. This this one is uh, super 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 spicy. Very very spicy. Here I pinu banana hose. Piro piro. Piro piro. Pago sati kolagi. Yeah. For my crazy friend. La 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 la. Super, super, super spicy. Yeah, <laughs> spicy can fix everything. <laughs> spicy fixes everything. You heard it from the Vietnamese man himself. This is such a, such a global restaurant. Nepali people speaking Nepali in a Chinese restaurant with a Vietnamese and an American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here you can call cover every language. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can Chinese. listen to every language. Uh. <laughs> Chinese kati barsa? Sikhe? Maile? Bara barsa. Bara barsa. Here I am, Lamo Samaya. Rata Pile? Tapile kati barsa, Sikhe? Maile? 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 Yeah, this man, wow, he's only learned two, three years. I've learned like 12 years. Although really of those 12 years, I haven't learned that long. Like it was mostly my first years, like my first five, six years, I was really, Chinese is the best language I speak out of everything by far. Chinese and Vietnamese are both close. But Chinese, like, I just spent so much time trying to perfect, which I don't do for a language anymore. Now it's like, if I can speak it, it's good enough, it's good enough. That's why, like, I spent six months to a year in a language, and I'm done. I'm done. Yako Malik. Yako Malik Chinese ho? Ki. Chinese ho, Chef Pani Chinese ho? Chef Pani Chinese ho. Dito, Dubai ho. Wow. Who's going? Who's going? Wow. 
Đó nó là của anh nha Hình như nó không có mì kia hả? Của anh hay của em? Của mì? Oh, I don't know if this is... Ah, it's only ban mian. Ah, okay. A little bit different than China, but ooh, it has it has meat. Yo beef or yo ki yo yo yang yang rou ho hui na? Ah, niu rou. And the best of all, that everybody always complains that I'm wrong. Vinegar. Look at this character right here. Phew. It might look like soy sauce. It may be black. Am I filming? But it is vinegar. It is not a soy sauce as everybody likes to correct me in the comments. Mỗi lần em em dùng cái này người ta bảo nó là xíu dầu ấy. Họ toàn toàn sửa em ấy. Bảo là nó không phải vì dám dám nó là xíu dầu. I am not wrong. It is it is it is vinegar. Phew. People who uh, have never been to China always think it's soy sauce. Then you might die. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hongshao Ji Park. <clears throat> now you have to try. Oh my god. So you'll notice um, these noodles are much, much thicker. Um, there are many, many different types of noodles in China. This one should be Dao Xiao Mian, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Wait for the photo boy to take his picture. <laughs> mm. I like it. Mm. Delicious. Anything more interesting to say? Just delicious. delicious. Yeah. God, these food reviews are nothing without Max. <laughs> Max is the best food reviewer. <laughs> we, when, whenever we review food, it's mmm, this is good. Mmm, mmm, it's delicious. Mmm. Oh, so the thing with these noodles is, this is actually from the province of China called Lanzhou, which um, they make a lot of these kind of ramen style noodles. But there's actually a really big Muslim majority population in three provinces in China, Lanzhou, Qinghai, and Xinjiang, especially Xinjiang. But these noodles are famous from Lanzhou. And so, you'll get a lot of like very different spices that you normally don't get in Chinese cooking. You'll get cumin, you'll get um, a lot of coriander, which is also in other Chinese dishes, but you also get a lot of beef, um, which is very common in uh, many Muslim dishes. But these noodles are the real, the real banger. Hand-pulled noodles. Usually made from wheat, wheat style. These ones in particular, the traditional style, are very, very thin. Mm. So good. Get a little bit of a spice too, a little bit of oil. Max better watch out. I might take his job soon. I'm so good at food reviewing. Luke just committed the sin, the sin of the century. He dropped part of his ching tiao, part of his bell pepper. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say to that? You know, this is uh, every food that fried out just more delicious than food on the plate. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Every food that you heard it from the man himself. Every food that falls down on the table, it's more delicious than what's on your plate. You always want to eat it more. I don't know where the logic in that comes in. But...
No soy a patas. Hôm qua 400 hôm qua. À nhưng mà anh cũng mua. Tí nữa xem. Nhanh cái nào, nhanh cái chai chi nào. Bây giờ đi coi chai nào cho. Ờ tao hết cái đó. Ok chị chào. Go. Well, didn't really speak too much Chinese. That's what happens like, you know, when so the workers like when I was in Pakistan right the guy wanted to speak Chinese. This guy didn't really seem to care. You know, speaking some of my filming, speaking some Nepali. He's like um, you know, he's cool with it. And like he just wanted to speak Nepali, more interested in speaking his native language, which is great. So maybe I don't know what am I gonna call this? I originally I thought this was gonna be speaking Chinese in Nepal. I guess that's gonna be have to be a different like, different video. This is just gonna be like two dollar Chinese noodles, Kathmandu. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the video. Now we're off to do other work. See you in the next video.